create a certificate for development purposes, we can use a self-signed certificate. If you want a legitimate certificate, for example, for use of a website on the internet, you want to get that from a certificate authority. For development purposes, we can often use self-signed certificates. We're going to use OpenSSL to create the certificate. First, we're going to become the root user instead of using the sudo command before each command. The reason we're going to become root in this case is that in some cases you can have trouble accessing the private directory where the private keys are stored if you're not the root user, even if you're using the sudo command. To avoid that, in this particular case, we're going to choose to become root user instead of using sudo. We'll use OpenSSL to create this certificate. The syntax is OpenSSL request req dash x509 to format a certificate dash nodes and then the number of days we want the certificate to be good for. We'll just choose 365. We're going to use an RSA key in this case. So we want to create a key and we'll use RSA of 4096 bits. We need to send this key file out. We're going to keep this key file in Etsy SSL private directory and we need to give it a name. We'll call ours utility.key. We also need to create the certificate itself and send that out. Use dash out SSL certs and then we'll give our certificate a name. Utility.crt. We'll let OpenSSL create the cert, and you can put in the country code and other information if you like. When done, our certificate and the key file are created and put into their respective directories. We still need to tell Apache where the location of the certificates are, and also give Apache the right to access the certificate. We'll start by modifying the Apache configuration file. You can use whichever editor you like. If you want one that's most like Notepad, gedit may be a good fit. The file that we want to alter is in the Apache configuration directory, Etsy, Apache, sites available. If we look inside, we'll see there's a default ssl.conf, and then there's also a backup if you've created a backup. If you haven't created a backup, you may want to do so. We're going to find the line SSL certificate file, and we're going to change this from the current value, which is either going to be a default value or the last value to the new value. We put our certificate in the cert directory and we called it matilda.cert. We want to make sure this value matches exactly the command we use. For example, this search directory has an S on the end, so I want to make sure to correct that. You need to be very precise. If you want, you can just copy it. Copy from the command line, you can either highlight what you want to copy and then right click and select copy. But a more convenient way is to highlight what you want to copy and use shift control then C for copy. Then we can paste the value into the file. Whichever method you use, just be sure that you get it exactly the same as what you had here on the command line. When you're done, save the file. And we still need to make another modification. Now we'll go ahead and change the ownership with kown. Don't need sudo in this case since we're the root user. 
The user name for the Apache service is www-data. The group is the same. We separate those with a colon and then the name of the file that we want to change the ownership of. And we'll start with the certificate file. We need to do the same for the key. With those done, we can go ahead and enable the SSL module in Apache. To do that, we'll use the Apache 2 enable module program, A2, and mod. And the name of the module that we want to enable in this case is SSL. We also want to enable the headers module and the default SSL module. And we'll use the Apache to enable site for default SSL. And then as Apache keeps telling us, we need to restart Apache. So we'll copy, paste that command and restart Apache. Let's try it out on our site. In this case, we're using self-signed certificate and Firefox correctly says our connection is not secure because our certificate is not backed up by a legitimate certificate authority. So we'll click Advanced and add an exception in our case. Since we are the ones created a certificate, we trust that we didn't do anything wrong. And now we can see our site has HTTPS using our self-signed certificate.